everyone. Welcome to York County Sheriff's Office Drug Lab. My name is Holly Tobias. I'm one of the three forensic chemists that we have here. Let me show you the lab. Hey kids, like I said, we're forensic chemists in this lab, which means we love science. Hope y'all do too. Um, as far as science and our, our job, we get substances that are found on the street and houses and cars, and we are to determine what they are. So, as a forensic chemist, we analyze substances to determine if a controlled substance is present. Then, through that, we take our results, create a report, and then from there, we testify to our findings in court. Here are some of the examples of the drugs that we analyze um, for this lab. So, first part is these bottom three, methamphetamine, cocaine, and crack cocaine, are stimulants. They're also known as uppers. They make you wide awake. Um, meth looks like a crystal, while regular cocaine is going to look like a powder form, and crack cocaine, which is a base form of cocaine, looks more like a rock-like substance. Um, we'll show you examples of how meth can affect the body later on. Um, next from there, we have heroin. Heroin can be injected, snorted, or sm smoked, and it can be really bad for the body. Um, it can come in a powder form. It can also be white, tan, or in a paste-like dark brown substance, also known as black tar. Um, you can't always tell what's in it. It can be mixed with fentanyl, and unfortunately that results in the death of a lot of people as they're um, using the substance. From there, um, we have tablets, or y'all might know as pills and capsules. Um, we get a lot of those. They can be prescribed to people, but if they're not prescribed to you and you use them, it is illegal. And then the last thing we would test would be stuff like plant material, such as marijuana, and we can analyze that to determine if it's present. Each of these we would take and perform typically a color test, and then from there go to an instrumentational test. Here are some of the examples of what it can do over the course of a couple of years to the human body as far as it can make you age, it can mess up your skin, it can mess up your teeth, and just make you look a lot older than you actually are. You're probably wondering how we analyze these substances to determine what they are. We do a color test, which we use chemicals. Some substances will change colors. It gives us an idea of what it could possibly be present. From there, we'll take our sample, we'll extract it, and we'll go on to the next step, which is instrumentation. Follow me. is called the Gas Chromatograph Mass Spectrometer, also known as a GCMS. I know it's a big word, but this is our fancy instrument that we get to use to identify what substances we're determining. These are, these are examples of the samples where we have extracted them. It will take this, it will add it over here, it will take it, eject it into the instrument, and then run the analysis and give us the identification of what could be present. This instrument is our newer instrument, which is also the same as this older version of the exact same instrument. They look slightly different, but they do the exact same job. It's like an oven. It heats up the sample to break it down so it will identify what's in it. Hey y'all, I hope you learned a few things today. Thank you for visiting our lab. Just remember, just say no to drugs and science is awesome. Have a great day y'all.